Good morning, it is Jane with Scribtastic Yarns, and today's Bible reading comes from 2 Kings 22 through 23 and 2 Chronicles 34 through 35. All right, let's open up with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today just grateful. Grateful for all the blessings that you give us, grateful for the things you show us each and every day. And grateful that you are in our lives today. So Lord, we praise you for being there. We give you thanks and we ask that everything we do be done in your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I gotta get this pillow situated. It's funky today. Okay. Josiah reigns in Judah. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 31 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jedidah, Jedidah, the daughter of Adiah of Bozka. And he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord and walked in the way of David, his father. And he did not turn aside to the right or to the left. Josiah repairs the temple. In the eighteenth year of King Josiah, the king sent Saphan, the son of Azaliah, Azaliah, son of Meshulam, the secretary to the house of the Lord, saying, Go up to Hilkiah, the high priest, that he may count the money that has been brought into the house of the Lord which the keepers of the threshold have collected from the people. And let it be given into the hand of the workmen, who have the oversight of the house of the Lord. And let them give it to the workmen who are at the house of the Lord, repairing the house, that is, to the carpenters, to the builders, and to the masons. And let them use it for buying timber and quarried stone to repair the house." But no accounting shall be asked from them for the money that is delivered into their hand, for they deal honestly. And Hilkiah the high priest said to Shaphan the secretary, I have found the book of law in the house of the Lord. And Hilkiah gave the book to Shaphan, and he read it. And Shaphan the secretary came to the king and reported to the king, your servants have emptied out the money that was found in the house and have delivered it into the hand of the workmen who have the oversight of the house of the Lord. Then Shaphan the secretary told the king, Hilkiah the priest has given me a book, and Shaphan read it before the king. When the king heard the words of the book of the law, he tore his clothes, and the king commanded Hilkiah the priest and Ahikam the son of Shaphan and Akbor, the son of Micaiah, and Shaphan the secretary, and Isaiah the king's servant, saying, Go inquire of the Lord for me and for the people, and for all Judah concerning the words of this book that has been found. For great is the wrath of the Lord that is kindled against us, because our fathers have not obeyed the words of this book to do according to all that is written concerning us. So Hilkiah the priest, and ah Ahikam, and Akbar, and Shaphan, and Asiah went to Huldah the prophetess, the wife of Shalom, the son of Tikva, son of Harhas, keeper of the wardrobe. Now she lived in Jerusalem in the second quarter. And they talked with her. And she said to them, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Tell the man... Who sent you to me? Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will bring disaster upon this place and upon its inhabitants. All the words of this book that the king of Judah has read, because they have forsaken me and have made offerings to other gods, that they might provoke me to anger with all the work of their hands. Therefore my wrath will be kindled against this place, and it will not be quenched, but to the king of Judah, who sent you to inquire of the Lord. Thus shall you say to him, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, regarding the words that you have heard, because your heart was penitent, and you humbled yourself before the Lord when you heard 
how I spoke against this place and against inhabitants, that they should become a desolation and a curse, and you have torn your clothes and wept before me. I also have heard you, declares the Lord. Therefore, behold, I will gather you to your fathers, and you shall be gathered to your grave in peace, and your eyes shall not see all the death disaster that I will bring upon this place. And they brought back word to the king. Then the king sent, and all the elders of Judah and Jerusalem were gathered to him. And the king went up to the house of the Lord, and with him all the men of Judah, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and the priests and the prophets, all the people, both small and great. And he read in their hearing all the words of the book of the covenant that had been found in the house of the Lord. And the king stood by the pillar and made a covenant before the Lord to walk after the Lord and to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all his heart and all his soul to perform the words of the covenant that were written in this book. And all the people joined in the covenant. And the king commanded Hilkiah the high priest and the priest of the second order and the keepers of the thresholds bring out of the temple of the Lord all the vessels made for Baal, for Asherah, and for all the hosts of heaven. He burned them outside Jerusalem in the fields of the Kidron and carried their ashes to Bethel. And he disposed the priests whom the kings of Judah had ordained to make offerings in high places at the cities of Judah and around Jerusalem. <coughs> Those also who burned incense to Baal, to the sun and the moon and the constellations and all the hosts of heavens. And he brought out the Asherah from the house of the Lord outside Jerusalem to the brook Kidron and burned it at the brook Kidron and beat it to dust and cast the dust of it, of it upon the graves of the common people. And he broke down the houses of the male cult prostitutes who were in the house of the Lord, where the women wove hangings for the Asherah. And he brought all the priests out of the cities of Judah and defiled the place, high places where the priests had made offerings, from Geba to Beersheba. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Beersheba. And he broke down the high places of the gates that were at the entrance of the gate of Joshua, the governor of the city, which were on one's left at the gate of the city. However, the priests of the high places did not come up to the altar of the Lord in Jerusalem, but they ate unleavened bread among their brothers, and he defiled Topeth, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom, that no one might burn his son or his daughter as an offering to Molech. And he, hit, and he removed the horses that the kings of Judah had dedicated to the sun at the entrance to the house of the Lord by the chamber of Nathan Melech, the chamberlain, which was in the precincts. And he burned the chariots of the sun with fire and the altars on the roof of the upper chamber of Ahaz, which the kings of Judah had made, and the altars that Manasseh had made in the two courts of the house of the Lord and cast the dust of them into the brook Kidron. And the king defiled the high places that were east of Jerusalem to the south of the Mount of Corruption, which Solomon, the king of Israel, had built for Ashtoreth, the abomination of the Sidonians, and for Chemosh, the abomination of Moab, and for Milcom, the abomination of the Ammonites. And he broke in pieces the pillars and cut down the Asherim, and filled their places with the bones of men. Moreover, the altar at Bethel, the high place erected by Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin, that altar with the high place, he pulled down and burned, reducing it to dust. He also burned the Asherah. And as Josiah turned, he saw the tombs there on the mount. And he sent and took the bones out of the tombs and burned them on the altar and defiled it according to the word of the Lord that the man of God proclaimed, who had predicted these things. Then he said, What is that monument that I see? And the men of the city told him, It is the tomb of the man of God who came from Judah, and predicted these things that you have done against the altar at Bethel. And he said, Let him be 
let no man move his bones. So they let his bones alone with the bones of the prophet who came out of Samaria. And Josiah removed all the shrines also of the high places that were in the cities of Samaria, which kings of Israel had made, provoking the Lord to anger. He did to them according to all that he had done at Bethel. And he sacrificed all the priests of the high places who were there on the altars and burned human bones on them. Then he returned to Jerusalem. Josiah restores the Passover. And the king commanded all the people, Keep the Passover to the Lord your God, as it is written in this book of the covenant. For no such Passover had been kept since the days of the judges who judged Israel, or during all the days of the kings of Israel, or of the kings of Judah. But in the eighteenth year of King Josiah, this Passover was kept to the Lord in Jerusalem. Moreover, Josiah put away the mediums and the necromancers and the household gods and the idols and all the abominations that were seen in the land of Judah and in Jerusalem, that he might establish the words of the law that were written in the book that Hilkiah the priest found in the house of the Lord. Before him there was no king like him, who turned to the Lord with all his heart, and with all his soul, and with all his might, according to all the law of Moses, nor did any like him arise after him. Still the Lord did not turn from the burning of his great wrath, by which his anger was kindled against Judah, because of all the provocations with which Manasseh had provoked him. And the Lord said, I will remove Judah also out of my sight, as I have removed Israel, and I will cast off this city that I have chosen, Jerusalem, and the house of which I said my name shall be there. Josiah's death in battle. Now the rest of the acts of Josiah and all that he did, are they not written in the book of Chronicles of the kings of Judah? In his days, Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, went up to the king of Assyria to the river Euphrates. King Josiah went to meet him, and Pharaoh Necho killed him at Megiddo as soon as he saw him. And his servants carried him dead in a chariot from Megiddo and brought him to Jerusalem and buried him in his own tomb. And the people of the land took Jehoaz, the son of Josiah, and anointed him and made him king in his father's place. Jehoaz was twenty-three years old when he began to reign, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Hamudal, the daughter of Jeremiah of Libnah, and he did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his fathers had done. And Pharaoh, Necro, put him in bonds at Riblah in the land of Hamath, that he might not reign in Jerusalem, and, land on, and laid on the land tribute of a hundred talents of silver and a talent of gold. And Pharaoh Necho made Eliakim the son of Josiah king in the place of in the place of Josiah his father, and changed his name to Jehoiakim. But he took Jehoahaz away, and he came to Egypt and died there. And Jehoiakim gave the silver and gold to Pharaoh. But he taxed the land to give the money according to the command of Pharaoh. He exacted the silver and the gold of the people of the land from everyone according to his assessment to give it to Pharaoh, Necho. Jehoiakim was 25 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 11 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Zebedah, the daughter of Padiah of Rumah. And he did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his fathers had done. Josiah reigns in Judah. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 31 years in Jerusalem. And he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, and walked in the ways of David his father. 
and he did not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. And for in the eighth year of his reign, while he was yet a boy, he began to seek the God of David his father. And in the twelfth year he began to purge Judah and Jerusalem of the high places, the Asherim and the carved and the metal images. And they chopped down the altars of the balls in his presence, and he cut down the incense altars that stood above them. He broke into pieces the Asherim and the carved and the metal images, and he made dust of them and scattered it over the graves of those who had sacrificed to them. He also burned the bones of the priests on their altars and cleansed Judah and Jerusalem. And in the cities of Manasseh, Ephraim, and Simeon, and as far as Naphtali in their ruins all around, he broke down the altars and beat the Asherim, and the images into powder, and cut down all the incense altars throughout the land of Israel. Then he returned to Jerusalem. The Book of the Law Found Now in the eighteenth year of his reign, when he had cleansed the land and the house, he sent Saphon, the son of Azaliah, and Messiah, and Messiah, uh, I don't know how I'll pronounce that one, the governor of the city in Joha, the son of Joahaz, the recorder to repair the house of the Lord his God. They came to Hilkiah the high priest and gave him the money that had been brought into the house of God, which the Levites, the keepers of the threshold, had collected from Manasseh and Ephraim and from all the remnant of Israel and from all Judah and Benjamin and from the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And they gave it to the workmen who were working in the house of the Lord. And the workmen who were working in the house of the Lord gave it for repairing and restoring the house. They gave it to the carpenters and the builders to buy cord stone and timber for binders and beams for the buildings that the kings of Judah had let go to ruin. And the men did the work faithfully. Over them were set Jehath and Obadiah the Levites of the sons of Merari and Zechariah and Meshullam of the sons of Kohathites to have oversight. The Levites, all who were skillful with instruments of music, were over the bureau of burden bearers and directed all who did work in every kind of service. And some of the Levites were scribes and, and officials and gatekeepers. While they were bringing out the money that had been brought into the house of the Lord, Hilkiah the priest found the book of the law of the Lord given through Moses. Then Hilkiah answered, answered and said to Shaphan the secretary, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Hilkiah gave the book to Shaphan. Shaphan brought the book to the king and further reported to the king. All that was committed to your servants they are doing. They have emptied out the money that was found in the house of the Lord and have given it into the hand of the overseers and the workmen. Then Shaphan the secretary told the king, Hilkiah the priest has given me a book, and Shaphan read it, read from it before the king. And when the king heard the words of the law, he tore his clothes. And the king commanded Hilkiah, Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, Abdon, the son of Micah, Shaphan the secretary, and Isaiah the king's servant, saying, Go inquire of the Lord for me and for those who are left in Israel and in Judah, concerning the words of the book that has been found. For great is the wrath of the Lord that is poured out on us, because our fathers have not kept the word of the Lord to do according to all that is written in this book. So Hilkiah and those whom the king had sent went to Huldah the, the prophetess, the wife of Shalom, the son of Tokath, son of Hasra, keeper of the wardrobe. Now she lived in Jerusalem in the second quarter, and spoke to her to that effect. And she said to them, <coughs> Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will bring disaster upon this place and upon its inhabitants, all the curses that are written in the book that was read before the king of Judah, because they have forsaken me and have made offerings to other gods. 
that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Therefore my wrath will be poured out on this place, and will not be quenched. But to the king of Judah, who sent you to inquire of the Lord, thus shall you say to him, (coughs) (coughs) Sorry guys, let me get a drink. took the trash out this morning, so I was already out there in the fun stuff. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, regarding the words that you have heard, because your heart was tender and you humbled yourself before God when you heard his words against this place and inhabitants, and you have humbled yourselves before me and have torn your clothes and wept before me, I also have heard you, declares the Lord. Behold, I will gather you to your fathers, and you shall be gathered to your grave in peace, and your eyes shall not see all the disaster that I will bring upon this place and its inhabitants. And they brought back word to the king. Then the king sent and gathered together all the elders of Judah and Jerusalem. And the king went up to the house of the Lord with all the men of Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and the priests, the Levites, all the people, both great and small. And he read in their hearing all the words of the book of the covenant that had been found in the house of the Lord. And the king stood in his place and made a covenant before the Lord to walk after the Lord and to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all his heart and all his soul to perform the words of the covenant that were written in this book. Then he made all who were present in Jerusalem and in Benjamin join in it. And the inhabitants of Jerusalem did according to the covenant of the God, the God of their fathers. And Josiah took away all the abominations from all the territory that belonged to the people of Israel and made all who were present in Israel serve the Lord their God. All his days they did not turn away from following the Lord, the God of their fathers. <coughs> Josiah kept Passover to the Lord in Jerusalem, and they slaughtered on the Passover lamb on the fourteenth day of the first month. He appointed the priests to their offices and encouraged them in the service of the house of the Lord. And he said to the Levites who taught all Israel and who were holy to the Lord, Put the holy ark in the house that Solomon the son of David, king of Israel, built. You need not carry it on your shoulders. Now serve the Lord your God and his people Israel. Prepare yourselves according to your father's houses by your divisions, as prescribed in the writing of David, king of Israel, and the document of Solomon his son. And stand in the holy place according to the groupings of the fathers' houses, of your brothers, the lay people, and according to the division of the Levites by fathers' household. And slaughter the Passover lamb and consecrate yourselves and prepare for your brothers to do according to the word of the Lord by Moses. Then Josiah contributed to the lay people as Passover offerings for all who were present lambs and young goats from the flock to the number of 30,000 and 3,000 bulls. These were from the king's possessions. And his officials contributed willingly to the people, to the priests and to the Levites. Hilkiah, Zechariah, and Jehiel, the chief officers of the house of God, gave to the priests for the Passover offerings 2,600 Passover lambs and 300 bulls. Conaniah also, and Shemaiah, and Nathaniel, his brothers, and Hashabiah, and Jael, and Josabad, the chiefs of the Levites, gave to the Levites for the Passover offering 5,000 lambs and young goats and 500 bulls. When the service had prepared, been prepared for the priest, when the service had been prepared for, the priests stood in their place and the Levites in their divisions, according to the king's command. And they slaughtered the Passover lamb, and the priests threw the blood that they received from them, while the Levites flayed the sacrifices. 
and they set aside the burnt offerings that they might distribute them according to the groupings of the fathers' houses of the lay people to offer to the Lord as it is written in the book of Moses. And so they did with the bulls, and they roasted the Passover lamb with fire, according to the rule, and they boiled the holy offerings. In pots and cauldrons and in pans, and carried them quickly to all the lay people. And afterward they prepared for themselves and for the priest, because the priests, the sons of Aaron, were offering the burnt offerings and the fat fat parts until night. So the Levites prepared for themselves and for the priests, the sons of Aaron's. Aaron, the singers, the sons of Asaph, were in their place according to the command of David, and Asaph and Heman and Jedathon, the king's seer. And the gatekeepers were at each gate. They did not need to depart from their service, for their brothers, the Levites, prepared for them. So all the service of the Lord was prepared that day to keep the Passover and to offer burnt offerings on the altar of the Lord, according to the command of King Josiah. And the people of Israel who were present kept the Passover at that time and the Feast of Unleavened Bread seven days. No Passover like it had been kept in Israel since the days of Samuel the prophet. None of the kings of Israel had kept such a Passover as was kept by Josiah. And the priests and the Levites and all Judah and Israel who were present, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. In the eighteenth year of the reign of Josiah, this Passover was kept. After all this, when Josiah had prepared the temple, Necho, king of Egypt, went up to fight at Carchemish on the Euphrates, and Josiah went out to meet him. But he sent envoys to him, saying, What have we to do with each other, king of Judah? I am not coming against you this day, but against the house with which I am at war. And God has commanded me to hurry. See, supposing God, who is with me, lest he destroy you. Nevertheless, Josiah did not turn away from him, but disguised himself in order to fight with him. He did not listen to the words of Necho from the mouth of God, but came to fight in the plain of Megiddo. And the archers shot King Josiah. And the king said to his servants, Take me away, for I am badly wounded. So his servants took him out of the chariot and carried him to his second chariot and brought him to Jerusalem. To Jerusalem. And he died and was buried in the tombs of his father. All Judah and Jerusalem mourned for Josiah. Jeremiah also uttered a lament for Josiah. And all the singing men and singing women have spoken of Josiah in their laments to this day. They made these a rule in Israel. Behold, they are written in the laments. Now the rest of the acts of Josiah and his good deeds, according to what is written in the law of the Lord, And his acts, first and last, behold, they are written in the book of kings of Israel and Judah. And that is it for today's Bible reading. As always, be kind to one another, love one another. Get out there and see this big, beautiful world we live in. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.